Hey everybody, this is Adam, and the video you're about to watch is a part of a series. Now you can watch that entire series for free over at cadjunkie.com with our free seven-day subscription. It is a no-brainer. I definitely recommend you check that out. All right, enjoy. All right, so we have our assembly, as you know. We have our plank part within the assembly, and we've modeled an object inside of that, so we have an actual thing in SolidWorks to look at. Now, as I talked about before, we are currently editing this part. It's blue. That means it is the active component in our assembly. To get out of that, we could click on the assembly, and then click on this little icon with the blue cube. That says Edit Assembly. If I click that, Suddenly, my part turns back to black, and we are editing the assembly. If I click the part again, I can click on the same icon for Edit Part, and now we're editing the part again. So it's really important to pay attention to what you're editing at any given time. Sometimes you might be editing a part, other times you might be editing the assembly. Now, one way to visually tell that, aside from whether or not your uh, part is blue here in the tree, is to look over on the right side of the viewport. You see this icon here? Once again, it's that blue cube in your Tetris piece. That means exit part. So if I click that, now we're no longer editing the part in context. If this doesn't make any sense yet, don't worry. We're going to make sense of it over time. I just wanted to start pointing you in that direction. Now we need to be editing our assembly, so if you're not already, go ahead and exit the part you're currently editing so that it turns back to black, and then we'll hit the S key again on our keyboard, drop down our insert tools, and insert a new part once again. Now once again we get our green check mark next to our mouse, that means that SolidWorks is waiting for us to choose a plane on which to position our part. So we're going to click on the front plane as a matter of habit. Once again, don't click any other planes. Don't be fooled. You need to click the front plane. There are a lot of reasons for that. So click the front plane. I'm going to rename this part. Let's call this one our connector and hit enter. And if I click off of it, you'll see it's blue, meaning it is currently the active part. We are editing this new part. But I don't want to edit this one in context. Actually, I just want to hide everything else in my assembly and only work on this one part. So let's right click on this guy and head up to the top here and click on Open Part. That's going to open this in its very own blank window. The rest of our assembly is gone. If you look in our tree of the knowledge of good and evil over here, we no longer have the assembly visible. We just have our connector to Tetris piece and the stuff underneath it. So to create an object, let's grab the front plane here, and I'm going to click on the Sketch button in my Sketch toolbar. And by the way, the tool ribbon is organized into tabs, you'll notice. If I right-click, you'll see there are lots of tabs that I can make visible or invisible just by checking them or unchecking them. Your Sketch toolbar will definitely be divisible by default. I just wanted you to know that you can turn those on and off as you're working. So let's go up to the Sketch toolbar and click on Sketch, once again with our front plane selected. So we're now sketching on the front plane, and I can choose a tool. So I'll hit the S key on my keyboard, and go down to my Circle tool, head out to the Origin, click, move my mouse out, and I could click, but I'm just going to type 20 and hit Enter. It's going to give me a 20 millimeter diameter. My circle tool is still running. I can tell that by looking at the left of my screen. So I'll hit the Escape key to drop that tool. Now we'll head up to the Features tab in our toolbar and click on Extruded Boss slash Base. Here in Direction 1, we're going to make that, once again, 2 millimeters, and click OK. And finally, uh, let me zoom into this first of all. And I could zoom in using, you know, manually, but instead I'm going to hit the Space bar and just choose an isometric view. So that's going to automatically fit everything in my screen. Now I'll head over to the right side of my screen and you'll see this little beach ball icon. If I click that, it's going to bring out a bunch of resources that set up appearances in SolidWorks. We're going to use these quite a bit. Let me drop down my appearances, drop down my plastic appearances, go to my low gloss plastics, Scroll down here, I'll take my black low gloss plastic, drag it onto my object, let go, and there's one more thing we have to do. We have to click something here. Let's click on the entire connector. 
This is important. We're going to talk about what these mean later. But for now, let's just assign it to the Tetris piece, the whole part. Now, to get back to our assembly, we just close the document. We're not closing SOLIDWORKS, mind you. We're closing the document. And save changes, yes. We go back to our assembly, and we have both a connector and a plank. But they're right on top of each other. So uh, let's see if we can fix that.